Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this bag here. I don't have a lot of room. This is a larger bag. So the brooch is just decoration. It's what holds it together at the top. That's nothing that you have to do. The handles are homemade, all just single crochet. There is plastic canvas at the bottom. It's a double layer crochet with plastic canvas in between. It's nice and strong so the bottom won't give out on you or stretch out on you so it will be able to hold quite a bit um, and the sides have magnetic buttons here so the bag opens up actually to be quite large if you want to use it for a project bag or a beach bag or something um, anything you want but it does open up to be quite a large bag there you can see it's actually not too it's not hard actually it's just uh shell stitches pretty much double crochet and single crochet it's pretty easy and of course you can make it as tall as you want in addition to the yarn that i'm going to tell you that you need you can go do a brooch if you want you don't have to that's decoration but you're going to need two of these magnetic buttons they fold together like that i got uh these came from walmart and they're located in the button aisle like uh, right across from the buttons near the sewing notions that's where they're at and in my Walmart and then by adding those magnetic buttons like that it helps close up the top so you don't lose your stuff but that's it let's go ahead and get started on this thing I think it turned out really nice I really like it okay for this project I am using DMC denim this comes from Hobium yarns it is a 100% natural cotton yarn. So cotton is nice and strong. It is a medium weight number four. Um, there were a few different colors. I believe this one was just, was called navy, navy finish, I believe. But it is a 100% cotton. There is 82 yards per ball. And I went through... Um, eight not all of eight but almost eight of them i'll put a link below in the description box to where you can get this yarn if you if you want to check it out on hobium but this is the yarn that i use for the bag and then i also used a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook and as always, I want to take just a second to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, you will see a little red subscribe button. If you click on that, uh, you'll automatically be subscribed and then you'll never miss any of my tutorials or uh, do yarn reviews and giveaways. You don't want to miss any of that stuff. And also, if you could give this video a big thumbs up um, if you enjoy it. Okay, first we're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook. We're going to start off with the base of the bag, which is really easy. We're going to start with a chain of 46. Okay, I'm going to do mine on a little smaller scale because I already have my base finished. But um, you, once you get your chain of 46 done, you just want to do one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And then one single crochet in every single stitch for the length of the chain. Okay, once you make it to the end of row one, you should have a 45 stitches now. Now all it is is just rows of single crochet. So you chain one and you turn. For row two and you single crochet right there into your very first stitch and then it's just one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row All right, when you make it to the end, you just repeat that row, you chain one and turn. You should have 45 stitches, one single crochet in that very first stitch. 
and one single crochet in every stitch to the end of the row. So now we're just doing rows of one single crochet in every stitch. And at the end of every row, you'll always have 45 stitches and you wanna do this for a total of 20 rows. We're on row three now. So you just do one single crochet till the end, 45 stitches total, chain one and turn and repeat. And just keep repeating until you get a total of 21 rows of single crochet. Okay, I have finished my 20 rows. Um, don't tie off, because what we're going to do is we're going to go around the whole piece with single crochet to clean up all the edges. So I just finished my 20th row. And now what we're going to do is start working down the side, short side first. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a chain one. Now that chain one doesn't count as a stitch or anything. Now we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch and I kind of it's kind of hard to see where you need to put your single crochets but what I do is I work one at the end of every row so start off right here and I work in between the last stitch and the second to the last stitch I just kind of go right into that hole and I'm going to do that all the way down Make sure you get every, at the end of every row, you'll see that little hole there. Just go right into it and single crochet. We're gonna do this all the way down. All right, I'm coming here to the end. Okay, we gotta get this stitch right here. And this stitch right here is actually gonna start uh, where we start working on the long part now. This very first stitch right here in the corner, we're gonna put three single crochets into it. And that's going to help the corners lay down flat. Three single crochets there. Now we're working across the long side, putting one single crochet in every stitch. And you should be able to see where these single crochets go pretty well. And I'm going to work all the way across until I get to my next corner. Right over here. Okay, I've come over here to the corner. And you can see this is kind of where our tail is, where we started. We're going to put three single crochets right there into this last stitch of the top row. So three singles. I'm going to try to hide that tail as I go. So now I'm going to be working down the short side again. And I'm going to be putting one single crochet at the end of every row make sure you're getting every row so we have the same amount of stitches Okay, I'm coming up here to the top again. 
stitch right here and then right here is our first stitch on the top and we're going to put three single crochets into that stitch and then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch every stitch here across the top and you'll be able to see the single crochets really well now until we get back to where we started All right, I've made it all the way to my last stitch here, and we want to put three single crochets in this last stitch. There's one, two, and three. Now we're going to end by slip stitching into our first single crochet on this side. So it's not this stitch. This is the chain one that we did. So we don't want to do anything with that. We want to come over here to the very first single crochet and if you look, you can see it's right there in the same stitch as this one. So this stitch right here. So that's the chain one. Don't go into that. Go into the first single crochet and slip stitch. And then tie that off. Now you should have, and you need to have, 136 stitches now all the way around. That's the number that we need to have. So if you follow me, that's what you should have. And you need to make two pieces the exact same, the exact same size. 136 uh, stitches all the way around on each piece. And then we take our plastic canvas and you wanna cut it to size, leaving a little bit just to hang over, you know, on each side. It doesn't have to be exact, but just a bit like that. So get that cut, get your two pieces made. Now we're gonna put one piece facing this is the right side. The right side would be that last row of single crochet we did. That right side facing up. You want one facing up and one facing down. So here's the right side of that last row of single crochet that I did. I'm gonna put it down towards the bottom. So when you're looking at the bottom of the bag, you see the right side. I'm gonna put this one with the, that, that last row of single crochet we did right there is facing right side up like that. Now we'll sew them together. So when they're sewed together, both right sides will be facing up. Yeah, it's not super important that you do that, but it just looks a little nicer when you do that. So we're gonna sew them together. And what we'll do is we'll sew up about um, three sides or so, three sides, and then we can kind of we worm this in on the, on the last side or, or sew almost three sides, maybe to here or something, and leave this on sewn and then and then you slide that in and finish sewing it up so you can start anywhere that you want to sew it together i'm going to start just over here in a corner somewhere so what we're going to do to sew it together is single crochet so I'm going to start in the corner now i'm going to start into the in the middle stitch of this piece in the middle stitch of this piece so you gotta look for the middle stitch go through that middle stitch and then on the back piece just look for it and get your middle stitch on that piece Go through them both like that. I'm going to single crochet my piece together. So I went through both pieces. I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to go through the same stitch, both pieces, and single crochet. And now I'm going to jump to the next stitch on this piece, and then the next stitch on this, on the back piece, single crochet. The next stitch here. And then the, the same stitch on the other side and single and this is what I'm going to do all the way around And 
and just taking a piece on the front piece and a piece or a stitch on the front piece and then the same stitch on the back piece going through them both and single crocheting. Now when you get to the corner, there's nothing special that you need to do. No, you don't put any extra stitches in the corner or anything. So I'm coming up to the corner right now. And your stitches should match up. In mine, do you? Thank goodness. And I see I'm just working around the corner, doing the same thing. One single crochet in every stitch. Now I'm going to work around single crochet every stitch all the way around until I get over to here to this end and then I'll just leave this side open and then I'll insert my plastic and then I'll finish sewing it up so I'll just meet you over here all right I've made it up to here and I didn't don't tie off or nothing just take it and then insert your piece of plastic here That way we'll have a nice strong bottom. There we go. And then we just continue doing what we're doing. Shoot first down there in the corner. There we go. Now I'm just gonna continue sewing it up in this the same way that we were. Matching up my stitches and getting it closed up. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this until I get all the way around to where I started. Alright, I've made it back to the beginning and you still should have your 136 stitches. And you want to go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet. Now we'll start working the main portion of the bag. So we're going to start by chaining one. Now we're going to work three double crochets into that first stitch. One, two, and three. Now I'm going to skip one stitch and then I'm going to single crochet into the next. Then I'm going to skip one stitch again, skip, and I'm going to put three doubles into the next. So skip that one. And put three doubles into the next. Skip one stitch, single crochet into the next. Skip one stitch and work three doubles into the next. And that's what we're going to do all the way around. And it's okay if it's kind of like laying flat on you and stuff. It really won't start to build up and look like a bag till you get a few more rows on it. And that's fine. But don't worry. I promise it'll turn into a bag eventually. So we're going to skip one single into the next. Skip one and three doubles into the next. Skip one, skip, single into the next, skip one, and three doubles into the next. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around until I get back to my starting point. Skip one, single into the next, skip one, three doubles into the next.
skip one, single, skip one, and then three doubles. So I'll meet back up with you when I make it back to my starting point. All right, I've made it back around. I did a single crochet and I have one stitch left to skip. It may look like you have two right here, but you don't. That's just part of that slip stitch from the previous round. You need to have one left to skip. Go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first double crochet here. Not the chain one, but the first double crochet that we did. Like that. And you should have now, we'll call this, this will be uh, round one of the bag. This first, this, this round we just did, round one. You'll have 34 of these little shells. We'll call these, these shells where you put three double crochets in each stitch. That, that would be a shell. And you'll have 34 of those now. So that was round one. Now rounds two and three are going to be the repeat uh, rounds for the bag. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch one time. For round two until we get to the middle of that first shell right there so there's three stitches there we slip stitched one time now we're in the middle stitch we're going to chain one and we're going to go back into it and single crochet that and now we're going to jump right down here to this single crochet we're skipping this double here and working in this single and we're going to put a shell into that single so we're going to put three double crochets into that single crochet like that and now we're going to jump over here to the next shell and we're going to put a single crochet in the middle stitch of it so we're actually just skipping this double crochet here and putting a single crochet right there in the next one and that'll be the middle stitch of that shell and now we're going to come down here to the single crochet and we're going to put a shell, three double crochets, into that shell. Or into the single crochet. Now, we are going to put a single crochet in the middle stitch of the next shell. So actually, we're just skipping one double. And in the next one, we single crochet, because that'll be the middle stitch. And then we go to our next single crochet right down here and work three double crochets or the shell into it. So that's what we're going to repeat all the way around now. Single crochet in the middle stitch of this next shell here. And then shell right down here into the next single. So three doubles. Single crochet into the middle stitch of the next shell. And shell right down here into the next single crochet. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my starting point. And that's what it's starting to look like. It okay, I've made it to the end of round two and I did a shell there, my last single crochet. Now I wanna end with a slip stitch into my first single crochet and you should still have 34 shells and you'll have that at the end of every round. Now, round three is pretty much the same as round two. You just start differently. Round two, we started with a single crochet. Now we're going to start with a shell. So we're going to chain one, and then we're going to work three doubles back into that same stitch. Like that. And now we're going to put a single crochet in the middle stitch of the next shell. Then we're going to shell into the next single crochet. And 
And then we're going to single crochet into the middle of the next shell. So it's just like we did before. The only difference is the way we start and the way we finish the rounds. Shell into the next single crochet. And single crochet into the middle of the next shell. So we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the beginning. All right, I've made it around to the end of round three and I did my single crochet in the middle of that last shell. Now I'm gonna end by slip stitching into the first double crochet. And now we're just gonna be repeating rounds two and three. And you'll always have your 34 shells and you can see mine is not forming a bag shape yet. It won't form bag shape for a while. So don't worry about that. Eventually we'll get it to We'll get it to look like a bag. So now we're just for row four, we're just gonna repeat what we did, or round, for round four, well, we're just gonna repeat what we did on um, round two. So we just slitch, slip stitched one time to the middle of that first shell, chain one, and then we single crocheted into it. And then we went to this next single crochet here, and we did a shell. And then we single crocheted into the middle of the next shell. And then we shelled into the next single crochet. And single crocheted into the middle of the next shell. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep repeating rounds two and three till we get our bag uh, quite a bit taller. All right, I went ahead and done 24 rounds total of those shell stitches. So from round one, our first, first round of shells all the way up, I did 24. You can do more or less, it's, it's really up to you. And at the end of your last one, I just went ahead and slip stitched, just like normal, and then just tie it off. I'm gonna re-slip stitch because it got kind of loose there. So just slip stitch there. I slip stitch into my first double crochet. And then go ahead and clip your yarn. And tie that off. Okay, for the handles, you want to leave a long tail for sewing. I'm going to start off with a slip knot. And then what we're going to do is start, if you want to make them like me, you can make them as thick or as thin as you want. But I'm going to start with a chain of six. And I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And one single crochet in every stitch till you get to the end of the row. And when you get to the end, you'll have five stitches. And then it's just a repeat. You chain one and turn single crochet right here in this very first stitch one single crochet in every stitch until the end of the row five stitches again and we're just going to keep repeating that chain one and turn one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row now remember you can make these as long or as short as you want but i did a total of 80 rows for my uh, handles. Chain one and turn. You'll always have five single crochets at the end of every row and you do a total of 80. And when you make it to the end of your 80th row, you want to tie off and leave a long tail on this end for sewing too. So you'll have two long tails and you want to make two handles exactly the same. Now, now it's going to be big and baggy when you hold it up it's going to be big and baggy and that's fine it's supposed to be like that just a big baggy bag but 
we'll put some handles on it. But before we do that, what you want to do is I'm going to put the magnetic clasps on it. These. If you want to put these, you don't have to. That's just to kind of hold it together. Now, all I do is fold it out the best that you can to where it looks pretty equal here. There's no, it doesn't have to be perfect, but flatten it out here on the bottom. And then once you get it about equal, I'll show you what you do here on one side. I just take it and I'll go in about one, two, three, four shell stitches from the side on each side. One, two, three, four there. One, two, three, four there. And then I'll go down about three shell stitches. So I go in four and down three, and that's where I'm going to put my magnetic clasp, but I'm going to do it like this. I'll show you how you do it. You don't have to put them in the exact same spot as me, but one, two, three, four shells over, one, two, three down. So I'm going to put my clasp right through that shell like that, that third one down. I've got my back. Put it on the back there, like that. And then if you could use a pair of pliers to bend these over, it's easier with pliers. I'm going to try to use my desk, but anyways, you just smash them back. There we go, like that. And then I'm going to flip it over, same side here, and do the opposite side. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Match it up. Should be about the same spot as the other one is. One, two, three. Put my other one on here. That. Put the back on it. And then these two clip clasps bend outward. Like I said, it's easier with pliers. I always kind of just use my desk. I'll use pliers again later to get it better, but like that. And then you can take it and fold these two in like that. And now they hook together like that. And you'll do the same on the other side and then you can also leave them open if you want to put more stuff in it but I'm going to do the same thing on the other side now that I got my piece all messed up let me refix it if you feel like they're in too far you can always make them come in a little bit more but that's just where I put mine so I'll go ahead and do the other side here Same way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Wow, I pushed that one in like I was the Incredible Hulk. Did you see that? I'm going to do the other, one, other side of this. Oh, the same way. Should be about the same spot. I can't do that one now. There we go. All right, so we got those on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and Fold them in like I showed you. Take them. And then you fold them in. Be the same on both sides. We'll do the same thing. Just fold them in like that. Like that. And now you can go ahead and sew your handles on. 
in those I just kind of eyeball too and I'm just going to use a yarn needle and I'm going to sew them on you can sew them on the outside but I think or the inside I think I'm going to sew mine on the inside I'm just going to eyeball it like that and I'm going to use my yarn needle and then my leftover tails that we left hanging from them Sew them all on here. I'm going to put it in. You just want to eyeball it and kind of keep it equal. Pretty equal on both sides there if you can. As best as possible. Okay. And I'm just going to bring it in a couple rows. And then sew her on. And this is how... The handles get sewed on pretty easy it's gonna keep sewing them really good not until they're nice and tight on there and I know they're not gonna come off and this is how I'm gonna do both handles the same way I'll do it really good because you don't want them coming undone especially since this is a big bag it's got that plastic bottom and it'll be able to hold quite a bit more weight so you want to make sure your handles don't give any time And then when you get that done, you just hide your tail and then you move over to your next one right over here. Make sure your handle's not twisted. So I just kind of follow it, make sure it's not twisted. And eyeball it, get it about the same spot. Sew it on the same way. And then when I get done with this, I'm gonna do the handles on the other side the exact same way. I'm just gonna match them up with these handles. So that is how you sew the handles on. Pretty easy. Hopefully you're able to see that okay. And then hide that tail and then you just clip that yarn after you get the tail hidden flip it over and then do your other handle in that same spot do it the same way all right once you get your handle sewed on that's it that's all there is to it so you got it where it will close with the magnetic snaps or you can open up those snaps I'm trying to do it one-handed because i'm holding my camera here There we go. And make it a lot larger on both sides. That's it. I hope you enjoy my tutorial. I think it turned out pretty nice. I like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And check out all my other tutorials. If you look up in the uh, top left hand corner right now. You see a picture of my face. If you click on my face. You'll automatically be subscribed. And you'll never miss any of my updates. And also don't forget to give this video a like. If you enjoyed it. And until next time. Have a good day.